All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Primordialis. This time, uh, I'm, I'm on my own once again. Uh, people seem to enjoy the last one, so we're doing it again. Um, yeah, it's it's no, December eighth, and I do not have a video stockpile right now. <laughs> There's been so many incredible games coming out, and it's it's hard to keep up. Um, Last last episode I did an explosive build. Let's uh let's grab a power cell and angry cell. That opens up some pretty cool options already. That's quite lucky. And uh yeah, we'll do we'll do some speed as well. I I think we're well on our way to being able to do a uh, a summoner. But let's let's get like one or two kills and then we'll uh and we'll we'll do that. But um yeah, th as for games that have been coming out that I'm really interested in, the bazaar has basically abducted my my whole entire being. It's been a wonderful time. I enjoy it immensely. And uh, on top of that, I've been playing PoE 2. That's come out. I've bounced off every single dungeon crawler type game I've ever played. And uh, this is the first one where I've I've actually been like engaged in a long time, including PoE 1. Like I, I got to like around level 20 in PoE 1 and then I quit. So I'm hoping that uh, this one can hold my attention. Uh, and so, so far, you know, it's, it's bringing back a lot of memories. It's like, it, it reminds me so much of, oh, this guy is going to kill me instantly. <laughs> I'm going to... Wait, are there two exit pads here? What's going on? That's that's the starter spot. Okay. That's weird. Weird that this guy managed to drift all the way into there. There we go. It's a nice quick kill. We gotta level up. Heart Cell will be very nice for defending this thing a little bit. Here we go. And we'll, we'll just get some more speed for now. Let's, let's get a couple more kills. So yeah, Heart Cells have been nerfed, by the way, for anyone who hasn't already noticed. They, they really did a number on the, the turn speed and the amount of drag that they cause. Also, I recently found out that uh, the purple uh, Seeker Cells reduce drag, so that's cool. Okay, so we got Breakaway now, so we can actually do our summons. Let's go ahead and give it a go, shall we? So, I'm gonna go ahead and line up something simple. Uh, hang on. It goes Power... ...and then Angry. There we go. And then we're gonna make a little guy. We'll give him a heart. He's just—he's just gonna be me, mini, mini me. Uh, there we go. And then this should be breakaway. I would love to. Okay, so th this is really good. I like this because this is giving it a lot more area space to uh, form, which is good. Okay. And uh, now we can throw our spikes on, I guess. We'll put some... I don't... You know what? Let's do no hard cells on the front. We'll do a, a two wide. Something like that. We'll see how that controls. That should be pretty good. We've still got space for a little bit of HP for me. <laughs> pretty long. See how this goes. That one's doing some good work. I don't want them eating me. Not bad, not bad. Uh, <laughs> I think that was like two, two ocean plants that were stuck together. I'm very low health, so this guy could totally kill me. I'm not careful. Back up and get the regeneration. Do they know to get the regen too? Doesn't look like it. Anyways, yeah, PoE two been super fun. We got uh, health infusing cells. Um, they're so difficult to use. I was trying to do a parasite build on stream the other day. We didn't really manage to get it functioning as well as I would like. Um, let's go ahead and tank up a little bit more. I'm mostly interested in bulking up my body for now, but we will work on the drones soon. I think we win a drone fight, in theory, although our drones are quite slow. So they're, they're going to have to work together to catch this guy. Yeah, my drones are also very expensive, I'm realizing. They're, they're costing quite a lot to, to send out. So we've got to watch our, our timing on that. There we go. 
but yeah, I've, I've been hearing a lot of people are having troubles making drones. Uh, hopefully this video helps with that a little bit, because, you know, we're, we're basically starting off with them, obviously. Should, uh, should be pretty clear how to scale up with this. One of the things about my builds is they tend to get kind of grand pretty quick. Um, and, and like, I'll, I'll run, like, something more efficient in the early game, like the, the super speed, uh, speedrun build, because it's just so efficient. Um, I will take Lightweight Cell, because it's really, really good for drones. Like, stupid good. Opens up a lot of potential options. And we're gonna need more hearts. We're just gonna make our body stronger and stronger. Is, uh, making your, your summon bigger before you have, like, the HP to sustain it is a big mistake. Because it'll just consume your entire, uh, the, your entire mass. And we obviously don't want that. We want to be able to afford to spam our little guys as much as possible. And this is a pretty effective setup for that. There we go. I'll probably give them some extra mobility pretty shortly. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do for mobility just yet. We'll have to figure something out. This thing sucks moving forward, by the way. It's very much a, a backward craft. Uh, one question that I've gotten about uh, summons is uh, how do you choose which direction they move? And they always move uh, up. So, like, if, if your facing is... Um, hang on. Ooh, we got Sticky and Jet. I'm, I'm gonna go Sticky for now. So, it, like, basically the top side here is always going to move up. I'm sure the, the, the majority of you probably know that already, but... It's a, it's a good thing to know for those of you who are not super savvy just yet. That is okay. This game is, it, it's, you know, you just, you just gotta learn. You gotta learn through play. There we go. That's looking pretty good. We can probably get a more uh, hydrodynamic shape just by doing this. It'll probably speed us up a little bit and we'll continue with our, our hearts. It's, it's funny how, um, the, the bacteria look is so efficient in this environment. Like, it, it, it happens all the time. We're, we're like, you're, you either end up looking like a virus or a bacteria of some some sort. It's, it's very funny. Or at least I do. I mean, maybe other people are doing more wacky things. But, um, yeah, I find this is quite effective. Just for, for hydrodynamic purposes and all that sort of thing. We'll see how we do against this boss. I'm pretty sure he won't spin unless he gets close to me. Which means that uh, he's pretty much doomed. Uh, most enemies are, like, really, really susceptible to summons. Um, it's almost like they, they need to, like, turn up the aggression rating when you have breakaway cells on or something. I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. Um, Muta is funny. Drift is useless on summons. It's really bad, in my opinion. We'll go for the cell combo. Um, so, Seek Trigger is really good. Jet could be fun. Negative jet does nothing. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that just the negative jet is just no jet at all, so that's not helpful at all. Uh, the only one that works here is minion, and it's arguable whether it even works or not. Before I go and uh, take any more cells, I'm gonna obviously see if we can improve our design a little bit by. So th these are electrically activated, so they'll detach from this, which is really nice. And that means that I can even do this to have even more coverage. And that'll make it generate faster, which is great. So, yeah, that's good. Now we just need to adjust the way these things are laid out. Okay, so I've got, I've got this wrong. Because this is going to activate, this is going to stay powered, and then this is going to depower, which means it's not going to have control. So what I need to do is uh, move those around like that. And obviously I want to keep my heart, so we're going to elongate just a little bit. We'll keep with our, our current design because it's doing pretty well for itself. Um, tempting to throw some stickies on here, but uh, I think we'll adjust our design as needed. And let's see. There we go. So it's taking a moment to, to charge these, actually, which is interesting. And you know what this could use? It could probably use some Seeker Cells up at the front. 
That'll help with the, the control. So these do activate, it just takes a while. Like a, a strangely long time. So, how could I improve this? I could do double instead, just to get some extra charge going. Let's see if that works. And then I can make this a heart and give myself some extra control. Yeah, that's a little bit faster launch. Um, let's see if it matters whether I'm using these over the other type. Okay, so it's identical. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I can move... Hang on, let's, let's see if I move this down here. If that'll charge it faster. Because the electric, electrical has like a current and, and it takes time. There we go, that's better. That's good. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's there's always like the, the little nuances to, to improve your build. This is looking pretty good. I've only got like an hour today, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I might post, or I, I might uh, make one or two videos, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I, I just want to say, again, uh, I, how much I, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching. And, uh, you know, liking and subscribing and all that sort of thing. I, I really appreciate it. It's, the, the algorithm has been incredibly kind to us all, I think, by uh, recommending this game. Because... Uh, you know, it, it, uh, for the very start, when I first started making content, I'm sure there's there's a couple more content creators making stuff on this game now. In fact, I've, I've seen a few myself, which is awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the community. Uh, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where when you post something that uh, has, like, no previous, like, reference in the YouTube algorithm, there's there's no... Uh, there's no telling what it'll do. It could, it could do literally anything. And mo most likely nothing. So, uh, I, I feel incredibly fortunate that this has worked out. So that, that's, that's cool. Big thank you to everybody. And, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, you know, just been enjoying lots of video games. I, I'm definitely interested in branching into, to more games. If, if you've been... Keeping up with the daily videos, you can see I've been playing all sorts of wacky stuff, which has been a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, I plan on keeping that coming. There will be more Primordialis videos. I do plan on making a Noita video or two very soon, too. I've been getting the itch. It's one of those things where, uh, you know, I, I was satiated with Noita. I, I had played all I needed to, done everything I, I wanted to do in that game. But, um, you know, they're, they're, we got Fair Mod. I haven't played like a daily in, in ages. There's 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 lots of good goofy things to be doing. So I would I would like to go and interact with that game again some more at some point in the near future. And uh yeah. That's that's a whole thing. As as for real life, things have been I, I mean this is my life. <laughs> this my my life lately has been just playing video games a prodigious amount and I've been, been enjoying it a lot but I plan on going and visiting my mom on the 22nd it should be nice going go and visit the family a little bit of an early Christmas so it will probably be um th I, that won't interrupt the schedule hopefully by the way I, I really want to adhere to the the one video a day thing I'm not sure if they'll all be on time but I guarantee you that they will we'll hit daily December I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it, and it's gonna be friggin' cool. And, uh, yeah, that's that's a whole thing. It's funny, because when I started Daily December, I didn't really know why people did it. <laughs> why people did a, a video every day in December. I, I knew, like, uh, YouTubers like Alpha Rad and like Scott's Thoughts, they, they do a video every day uh, during December, and then they take January off. Um... I don't know if I'll be taking January off, but I know I, I want my editor, to, Alex, to take a, a lot of January off. Because, uh, you know, he's he's been working his ass off for at least two years at this point, probably longer. So, he needs it. 
and um, yeah, that that'll be good. Which means I'll be doing my own thing, which which should be goofy. I I might try my hand at editing. We might have a few less videos. Let me know whether you'd rather quality or quantity, because um, obviously. You know, some people are perfectly happy with an unedited video like this. And may maybe this is the wrong crowd to ask because you're happy to watch something like this, which is totally valid, by the way. I, I watch lots of unedited Let's Play style stuff all the time. But, um... Yeah, let, let me know what you'd prefer. If you'd like me to, to, like, put a ton of effort into, like, a couple of videos. Or just throw stuff out there so you can have something to hear in the background. As I, I know sometimes I am the second monitor Andy. I and mean, there, there's there's nothing wrong about that. Somebody was even saying how uh, <laughs> I'm their, their go-to-sleep person. Which I, I, I think that's friggin' awesome. Because I do the exact same thing with uh, a couple different YouTubers now and then. Uh, it's probably about time we upgrade our build, by the way. I think that's, that's going to be a thing soon. We've, we've gotten quite a few level ups. Got Conductive, which is nice. Uh, conductive is pretty cool. Seeker is a good alternative activator. And I could use that to have jets on my main body, which intrigues me. Um, explosive cells could totally be a thing. Let's grab those. And... I don't love leeching bots so, so much. I don't. I think with the recent leeching change, they don't leech to your main body anymore. They leech to the the little creature, which makes them a lot less powerful. Health monitor cell. Let me know if you found a good use for this one. I used to use it when I when cell types were more sparse, but I, I feel like these days it's a little less valuable than it once was. Okay, so we can just. Do the, let's do it like this. That way it's got like the the angle that, that it hits just right. And we can get rid of the heart so that way it, it kills faster. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty dangerous. This is... <laughs> we're, we did the same build we did last time, didn't we? This is the same thing. God damn it. Oh man, it's way too fast, isn't it? In it... So the, the main value of speed, the main value of speed is simply that it, it allows you to have way more potential uh, spike damage output, which is totally unnecessary in this scenario. So we'll see how we do with just a single one there. That thing is dead. That thing is deed. But yeah, the, the reason why these drones are exploding on their own, for anybody wondering, is because I got rid of the heart. Uh, it's it's able to just kind of blow up on its own, which is really nice. And, uh, you know, I think we can stick like a sticky in there and that'll be really good. And we can use conductors to place in there so that way they have better aim. Uh, where are the conductors that I got? I've definitely been ignoring conductors a lot. Tell me I didn't do it this time, too. I did, didn't I? I, I took the Seekers instead. Um... It's a little expensive, but we've got points to burn, so let's just go crazy. <laughs> We're probably gonna be a little slow like this. Let's, let's give ourselves some more speed. We'll do something like this. I didn't mean to make the same build. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get creative in this game, especially when you're like on autopilot like I am right now. It's it, it, That's the same thing in, in Noita uh, that I experienced a lot. Is uh, It's it's so easy to, to just make the same build over and over that uh, in, unless you force yourself uh, to, to get creative, you, you can kind of ruin the game for yourself by making the same thing over and over. And I, I, th I think there's a lot of games like that. Like, uh, some of the very best games are games that allow you to ruin your own fun. The, people can be their own worst enemies in that regard. 
It's, it's something that you really have to fight against, I think. I'm gonna call this one different enough to, to be pretty happy with it. This is a more refined design than what we were running before. It seems to be pretty efficient, actually. There we go. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Uh, I'm gonna grab muscle because it'd be cool to do a muscle build. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have an opportunity to do so. We're feeling pretty slow. I think I can add a couple of extra seekers to reduce the, the drag. Look at that. Look at how wonderful that is. Just a tiny bit of extra drag is all we need. We can just fire off like crazy with this. We've uh, we've been grinding, apparently. I, <laughs> I've just been kind of talking. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a good time. Been a good time so far. Where's the boss? He's up top here. But yeah, if, if you're playing uh, the Bazaar or or Poe Two, let me know what uh, what your tactics have been. I'm curious what uh, what people's favorite stuff has been. In the Bazaar specifically, I've been running the the Junkyard Dog a lot whenever I get the opportunity, and that thing goes absolutely crazy on a on a good buy sell build. Look at that. This guy's so weak to explosives, it's insane. Uh, rebirth is really, really strong, obviously, but I think explosive resistance makes us basically immune to death in this next area, so we'll go for that. And we have 1,000 friggin' points to spend, which is wild. Um, yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. I don't think these can regenerate, these bots can regenerate, especially without a heart and without budding, so we're not gonna bother with that. You should be fine. I've really been finding this game, like, increasingly easy. And I'm super curious how... Uh, how Caluresis is going to make it more difficult. If you have any cool ideas on how to, like, make it more challenging, let me know. Also, I realize that I ask so many questions in these videos, and I apologize for that. Um, because I'm used to... I mean, that, that's kind of just how I live my life, is asking a lot of questions. I, I, I love to know things and the, the, have, a, have everybody's opinions locked in the old dome and all that sort of thing. It's just kind of fun. Um, I've always been like that, even as a kid. <laughs> I was to told at a very young age, never ask why. Ask, ask like a, a whole question, because why is just part of it, you know? One of one of those deals. I don't I don't remember what I, where I was going with that. <laughs> but yeah, I hope hope people don't mind too much me asking questions. I swear I'm not just trying to comment farm. I'm just genuinely curious. I, I read everything, every single comment, and I always have, and uh, hopefully always will. Maybe at some point I'll have to start parsing some out, but we'll see. I, th I think I think I can I can keep up I can keep up I'm I'm one of those those Discord like my my Discord it's it's one of those Discords where it's it's zero zero messages even though I'm like thirty different Discords I'll take a negating because maybe we can do something with that in the future and uh, I think we can just kind of go big mode I'm gonna do one of these. How am I going to... How am I going to make that work? I guess I can just do this. And then that'll give me a bunch of extra regen. Uh, that should be... Should be here. So the whole idea behind having this, like, inside like this is it's going to regenerate everything faster. Which is really good. It's very good. So, let's see. Yep, those are all touching. I actually was fine just having it up there, even. I Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. I'll have it there. And then I can add uh, another layer of breakaway right there. And then it's, like, almost fully encased, which is fantastic. That'll be very, very strong. Very, very efficient. Um, let's see. So we'll do that. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's crazy good. 
should get a couple more of these. And we should get another layer of green guys going. Come... Oh god, no. Don't be the box. Do not be the box. <laughs> I try so hard not to just be a box anymore. That's something that I was doing very early on where I'm like, Ooh, this is such an efficient shape. And I was right, by the way. It is a very efficient shape, but that doesn't mean I want to do it. Um, we can get some light cells going here. Oh my gosh, we've got so many points! We've got so many points, I don't know what to do with them all. Okay. Somebody's gonna co comment uh, about using control click, and I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell them, yes, I, I know how to control click. Okay, there we go. That's looking good. That's looking extra thick. Um, yeah, so this will be fine. <laughs> this thing, thing's looking pretty goofy. If I could... Hmm. If I could get this working properly... Hang on. What if I swap this over to my combo cell? Because if I get this working right, I might be able to make it so the full thing generates first. And that would be really cool. Just by holding spacebar. Nah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. What, what if what if I do this? That's not happening. That's not happening, sadly. That's okay. We'll give it a little bit of extra speed and see how it handles it. See if it can handle the responsibility of the extra speed. Looking like a, a maybe. It's doing okay. Th those guys are very explosive resilient. Which is why they're able to survive so many of these explosives, I guess. Um, maybe we gotta sna slap some spikes onto this thing. We'll see. I would like to be able to kill everything. Feels a little bad not being able to kill certain enemies. Let's go ahead and see if we can sneak a spike on somewhere. Uh, so what we could do... I was trying to avoid expanding this too much, but we'll, we'll give it a little bit of extra juice. That's a lame looking spike, isn't it? There we go. That's a little better. I wonder if you could, like, explode a spike at super speed to do damage. That sounds cool. I wonder if that works. Uh, we're gonna move these up. Like so. Hopefully that's a little better. It's moving a lot slower. I guess we can go back. Wait, we have? We have three with that? Wow. That's crazy. Are these controlling like insane ass? Hello? Okay, so maybe if we do this, it'll be better. Okay, that's better. It, this, they were too far behind on center of mass. That's the main issue. These are maybe worthy of a heart now. Where the spikes can actually do damage. Okay. I, I want to kill this guy. I want my build to be capable of killing anything. Not just most things. <laughs> oh shit, not me! Not me, ideally. Oh, there we go. They're finally getting on him. These guys are, like, surprisingly tanky. They're not, they're not like, a threat at all. They're just kind of like an area denial type creature. I like the idea of some big passive creatures. And that that would be cool if there was, like, a, a big old whale or something. Okay, so that thing's gonna eventually kill it. But I'm gonna supervise, because I want to actually see the kill. 
Oh no, he detached somehow. Okay. Surely one of these is gonna work. Do we have another level up? We do, and we've got electricity. Spicy. Um... I didn't ever take... the thing that would make that super good. If we can get, like, one more item, maybe we go for that. Look at that, we finally got him, maybe. Kill him! End his life! There we go, finally. Now I'm satisfied and can move toward the final boss. Um, yeah, sorry, but my, my brain, I'm a little scatterbrained. Oh, somebody asked me about, uh, why I only have one light on during this, and I, I got, like, a bit of a Two-Face vibe going. Uh, it's, it's just, the lighting is actually, like, really harsh. I gotta get, like, a, some sort of, uh, like, I, I have diffusers and stuff, they just don't work very well. Like, it, it doesn't really matter what I put on it, it's, it's still gonna be a little rough. So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on that. This guy's gotta get off. There we go. Alright, so the thing about this boss that's really silly, that I think they need to change, is that he, uh, he literally just doesn't notice summoners. Because they're, you can attack them outside of range. I think that's one of the, the biggest things that makes summoners so ridiculous. Is the fact that you can just, like, run enemies down without them ever having a chance to react. Like, look at that. It's silly. It's just silly. It's, it's fun, don't get me wrong. It is fun, but I definitely think if they're going to try and make the game a little more difficult for those who have grown to be advanced, that's, that's going to have to be a, a tricky solve for sure. And uh, it's one of those things where, like, Noita was the same way, where once you get good enough at the game, it's really hard to kill the player. Uh, as, and, and this game really lets you take the game at your own pace in, in such a way that, like, grinding is really efficient. In Noita, the, there's, like, a limiting factor in that uh, eventually you collect all the wands on the floor and gold is almost worthless. So, yeah, that's that's an interesting thing to think about, is, like... How do you stop the player from from overpowering themselves by the, either by accident or intentionally? Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be the the sesh for this video. That's a win right there. I'll take it. I'm very pleased and uh, yeah, happy whatever day I end up posting this. I'll maybe prob probably on the ninth, but we'll we'll see. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you and have a nice day.